Good morning. How's it going? Uh, we made it to another Tuesday, the 9th of November. Like the year is going to be over before we know it. And you will notice that I'm sitting in front of a fire. My back's actually getting kind of hot. Um, yes, it's raining here, but probably going to be done in like an hour. So, you know, that's how it is when we get a storm. Uh, you know, not all parts of California, but on the central coast, you know, we get about six hours of rain and then it moves on. <laughs> so it rained kind of all like night, you know, two o'clock in the morning until, you know, nine and then we're done. So, but if there's an excuse for me to have a fire, then I usually take it. So my husband got it all ready for me last night. And before he walked out the door, he started it. So super, super fun. Um, yeah, uh, let's see what's going on. Um, oh, I had my visit with my mom and that was way fun. Um, I have so much fun with her. She's just She's great. So we had a great time, went to the beach a ton because my mom loves the beach and she misses the beach when she's in Texas. So we had a great time and uh, yeah, uh, let's see what else. Oh, big news. Yesterday, my son Toby took his driving test and he's so funny. We walked in the door and my husband was like, so how'd it go? And he's like, well, I'm street legal. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so he got his license yesterday. So that is a whole new bag of worms for me to wrap my brain around. Yeah, so um, one down, one to go. <laughs> Uh, Reagan won't start driving until the spring and then, um, and then I'll have another driver. So that's pretty fun. Um, let's see. I don't know if you've noticed and if you haven't, that's totally fine, but been a little quiet for me on social media and, um, that's on purpose. So I just decided to take a break from posting and scrolling. So super nice. I'm loving it. I have committed to, of course, hang out with you guys because this feels more face to face, even though I can't see your faces, I'm like imagining your faces and I'm talking to you. So, um, I'm not going to cut out my Tuesdays and I'm definitely not cutting out my big time grace group. So if you want to see more of me, then go over there. And um, yeah, I'm just taking it a little slower and um, not putting unnecessary stress or let's see, controversy into my life for the next couple months. So yeah, it feels really, really good. And my husband actually yesterday, we we're trying to get rid of a bunch of stuff. And so we were posting it up on Craigslist. And he said, oh, were you going to put it on Marketplace too? And I was like, nope, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> not going to do it. <laughs> so I'm trying to stay super, super um, firm on that. So if you don't see me, that's why. But know that if you want to ask me a question or tell me a story or ask um, me to pray for you, probably the best way to do that is to go to my website. And if you go to the connect page, you can write me a message and it goes directly into my inbox. So I'm definitely answering those and I will still be joining you on Tuesday mornings and I will be very active in my big time grace group. So totally up to you, but just know that that's why I may not be responding on Facebook or Instagram. So that's me. Um, let's see. Oh, okay. So for you all that are part of my email list, I shared my favorite book out of my like fall bin that I bring out. Anyway, 
And I thought I'd take a break from a prairie devotional this week and read the ox cart man to you because it's like so prairie. I love it. Um, but it's not, it doesn't take place in the Midwest. It takes place in New England, I believe. And so it's just like this prairie vibe on the East Coast. And I love this book. Like, honestly, I'm just trying to read this book every single day in November because it just gets me into this really wonderful, wonderful mood. So um, you can order this book. You also can get it from the library because it's there. And so check it out and read it to your kids, read it to your grandkids, read it just to you. It's so, it's so interesting. I just love it. So I'm gonna read that to you and then I'm gonna talk about the giveaway for October, which kinda didn't go so well because my winner never got back to me. And so I'm picking a new winner. So we'll pick this new winner um, right after I read The Oxcart Man and give you a little uh, blurb about the book. So The Oxcart Man, so great. This is by Donald Hall and um, it is called a uh, Caldecott um, medal winner. So this was written in the mid eighties. I believe that's what I looked at last time. 83, I think. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Where is it? Goodness sakes. I can barely see. I don't have my glasses with me. Okay. I can't find the date, but I think I can read the words. <laughs> okay. Here we go. It's the first page in October. He backed his ox into his cart and he and his family filled it up with everything they made or grew all year long that was left over. He packed a bag of wool he sheared from the sheep in April. He packed a shawl his wife wove on a loom from yarn spun at the spinning wheel from sheep sheared in April. He packed five pairs of mittens his daughter knit from yarn spun at the spinning wheel from sheep sheared in April. He packed candles the family made. He packed linen made from flax they grew. He packed shingles he split himself. He packed birch brooms his son carved with a borrowed kitchen knife. He packed potatoes they dug from their garden, but first he counted out potatoes enough to eat all winter and potatoes for spring, sorry, for seed next spring. He packed barrel apples, honey and honeycombs, turnips and cabbages, a wooden box of maple sugar from the maples they tapped in March when they boiled and boiled and boiled the sap away. He packed a bag of goose feathers that his children collected from the barnyard geese. When his car was full, he waved goodbye to his wife, his daughter, and his son, and he walked at his ox's head 10 days over hills, through valleys, by streams, past farms and villages. Go. I love all the bright orange colors on this. Until he came to Portsmouth and Portsmouth Market. He sold the bag of wool. He sold the shawl his wife made. He sold five pairs of mittens. He sold candles and shingles. He sold birch brooms, he sold potatoes, he sold apples, he sold honey and honeycombs, turnips and cabbages. He sold maple sugar, he sold a bag of goose feathers. A good day at market, huh? Then he sold the wooden box he carried the maple sugar in. Then he sold the barrel he carried the apples in. Then he sold the bag he carried the potatoes in. Then he sold his ox cart. Mm -hmm. 
Then he sold his ox and kissed him goodbye on his nose. Then he sold his ox's yoke and harness. With his pockets full of coins, he walked through Portsmouth Market. He bought an iron kettle to hang over the fire at home. And for his daughter, he bought an embroidery needle that came from a boat in the harbor that had sailed all the way from England. And for his son, he bought a Barlow knife for carving birch brooms with. And for the whole family, he bought two pounds of wintergreen peppermint candies. Then he walked home with the needle and the knife and the wintergreen peppermint candies tucked into the kettle. And a stick over his shoulder stuck through the kettle's handle and coins still in his pockets. Past farms and villages, over hills, through valleys, by streams, until he came to his farm and his son, his daughter, and his wife were waiting for him. And his daughter took her needle and began stitching. And his son took his barlow knife and started whittling. And they cooked dinner in their new kettle. And afterward, everyone ate a wintergreen peppermint candy. And that night, the ox cart man sat in front of his fire, stitching new harness for the young ox in the barn. And he carved a new yoke and sawed planks for a new cart and split shingles all winter. While his, might, while his wife made flax into linen all winter and his daughter embroidered linen all winter and his son carved Indian brooms from birch all winter and everybody made candles. And in March, they tapped the sugar maple trees and boiled the sap down I wanna do that someday. And in April, they sheared the sheep, spun yarn and wove and knitted. And in May, they planted potatoes, turnips and cabbages while apple blossoms bloomed and fell while bees woke up starting to make new honey. And the geese squawked in the barnyard, dropping feathers as soft as clouds. And that is the end. <laughs> okay, so what do you think? I love this book. I like it because it's so simple. It reminds me of Little House in the Prairie. But it also shows us how we can let go of all of our stuff. And that is so refreshing to me to think of living day by day by day, doing the things that we have to do right in front of us, but not worrying, stressing over the future, just doing what God has given us to do. Um, this is Oxcart Man, and I highly recommend this. I do only get it out in the fall, and this year I didn't even get it out until the beginning of November. And I just set it out, and I just read it sometimes every single day. And it's just is so calming, and it also makes me like want to do a project. It makes me want to clean out 
all my stuff. And it just gives me this calm, which I just think we need so badly. And there's so much harmony in this family. They're all working together. They're all not really in a hurry. They all have a common goal that they're working towards. Um, and you can tell, they just, they love each other. They work hard for each other. And that's just a beautiful, beautiful book. So Ox Cart Man by Donald Hall. I totally think every single household should have this book. Maybe that's too much to say, but I love this book. It's my favorite fall book. Um, I do have another book that I'm going to share with you guys, but it's not a book that we, that I read until Thanksgiving day. And so who knows, maybe I'll do a, um, something the Tuesday before Thanksgiving day. And I'll wait to tell you about that. But, um, let's see my next, my last thing on my list here is to pick a new winner because Suzanne, I'm not going to say the last name because there's another Suzanne that said, is it me? And it wasn't, I'm sorry, Suzanne. Second Suzanne, it wasn't you because the email was not you. So, um, when you signed up, it's just a first name. It looks like so. Suzanne did not respond to the email. It's been over a week and I've probably emailed at least two, three times. So, um, I'm going to pick a new winner and let's see, Let me get my computer on here for a second. Okay. So I just went into my raffle app and I'm picking a new winner right now. Go. Okay. Okay. So. This, this winner for the October book bundle is going to be Gina. And Gina, I'm not going to say the last name because I'd want to keep your privacy if you want privacy. So if your name's Gina, you might be getting an email. I'm not sure if there's more than one Gina. I can't really check that. But um, I will send an email as soon as we are done with when I push stop. And I will um, send this out. So the prize here is four books, Walnut Grove hits home. This is a parenting book, Prairie values for the modern family. So this is super fun. It's got really good. If you are a, um, you know, die hard little house fan, you want every single thing that has to do with little house. So that is Walnut Grove hits home by Alicia Hogan Murphy. Yes. Awesome book. Um, this next book is a novel. This is called The Inheritance. It is a um, clean romance about a young girl, not a young girl, a, you know, she gets married. It's about kind of like the first year of marriage. Um, and there is a prairie fire in the book. So it is definitely applicable to our prairie vibe that's going on here. And it's a really, it's a really fun book. I read the whole thing and, um, really sweet story. So there's the inheritance. This is by Laura Costier. Um, and then we've got a, um, devotional for homeschool moms or homeschool families. And this is called Dishing Up Devotions. Um, even if you're not a homeschool family, but you like to do faith building activities with your children, you will like this. Um, every chapter is a different character trait. Um, like this one is good. This one is gentle. There's a patience one. There's a faithful one. Anyway, and then it also has these wonderful recipes in every chapter and something that you can make with your kids. Um, questions to ask them. Super great. This, um, this actually is coming out in November. It might have already come out. I'm trying to remember. It comes out this week. Oh, I should know that. I'm so sorry, Katie. Anyway, great, great book. This is coming to you also. And you know, if you are not a homeschool mom, you don't have kids in your house, Give this to a young family that they can use. So fun. Okay, and then I'm gonna, you know, throw in a prayer devotional too to make it four. So there you go. 
that is the lineup. And Gina, you are the winner. I will be sending that email out right now. And um, hope you hope you guys had fun doing that. Um, and I am going to do um, a couple more giveaways this year. I've done more giveaways this year than I think I've ever done. So I'm going to finish it off with November and December and then probably take a little bit of a break because, you know, there's a lot to do to get a give it a giveaway going. So, um, but I think this month, November is probably the month of, I can't quite decide if I do ornaments this month so that you get them by Christmas. I think so. I think that's probably what will happen. So we're going to do ornaments this month. Um, a pack of Prairie Doll ornaments, the Laura, Mary, and Nellie, and then also a wagon ornament. So you will get all the ornaments that I have in my Etsy store, and I will send those out to you for sure in time for Christmas. So probably we'll start this giveaway in a couple of weeks, maybe the around the 15th or whatever's closest to that. Oh gosh, would that be next week? Oh goodness, it would be next week. Okay, so the next giveaway will start maybe next Tuesday after our um, live. And then, um, and then we'll have one final giveaway for the year in December, which might just be like the perfect Christmas present for one of you guys from me. So um, yeah, that's it. Um, I feel like I had a ton of stuff today, but um, seriously, just sitting here by the fire waiting for the sun to come out because I think it's supposed to be 80 on Thursday. <laughs> so that's me, I'm doing good, hanging out here, just living my normal, life. Um, yeah. So I hope you guys are well and have a wonderful day. Try to slow down. Take one thing at a time. Yeah. So, oh my goodness, Suzanne, you're crying. It was me. Oh, geez. Now I feel terrible. I'm sorry, Suzanne. Oh my goodness. Did you not check your email, Suzanne? <laughs> oh boy. Okay, well, I can probably send you something. Um, yeah, Suzanne, you gotta check your email. <laughs> All right, hope you guys have a great day. Talk to you later, bye.